How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Today, I want to talk to you about possibly a very large, very interesting theory on why Elon Musk pulled the rug out on Bitcoin yesterday. Now, I've heard this floated around the internet a little bit. I haven't seen anyone make a dedicated video. Now, if someone's already done that, you know, I, I just haven't seen it. But I want to talk to you today about how Elon Musk and Tesla could be getting into the Bitcoin mining business. So with that being said, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. We talk about cryptos, we talk about stocks on this channel. Also, there is a link down there in case you guys want some free money through Weeble. I really appreciate that and it helps out the channel a lot. So feel free to share this on social media too. It helps out the channel if you're interested. So we all know that Elon Musk started accepting Bitcoin as payment for Teslas. We knew that they bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin a little while ago. Then all of a sudden last night, we all know that Tesla came out. Well, actually, Elon Musk came out on behalf of Tesla and said that they would no longer be accepting Bitcoin as payment because of the use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transaction, especially coal, which is the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. We are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy per transaction. Now, if you're, if you're watching this and you think Elon Musk and the Tesla team did not know about Bitcoin mining and their use of coal, you've got to be crazy at this point. I mean, Elon Musk is one of the smartest people in the world. They're in the energy business. It's not like they're in, I don't know, food, the food industry or something like that. They are in the energy business. They fully well knew what they were doing when they start accepting Bitcoin as currency here. Now, I don't think they did this because they wanted to eke out a little bit higher profit for a quarter. I think that would be very risky. I don't think that's what's happening. And then after this happened, and we'll get to my theory on why they're doing this here in a second, he said, it is high time there was a carbon tax. And then a couple minutes later, to be clear, I strongly believe in crypto, but it can't drive a mass increase in fossil fuel use, especially coal. Interesting, interesting. So they accepted it, then they went back and said, no, it's too crazy, there's too much too much fossil fuels being used. And this is really what I see a lot of mainstream media coming out with against Bitcoin. It's not because, oh, it's going to uproot our financial system. It's because, oh, it's too bad on the environment. It can't. It, it's not good for the environment. Uh, the, the uses of fossil fuels are terrible and all this stuff. Well, have we forgotten why... Uh, this could be happening. Have you guys looked deeper into this? Let's, let's think about this for a second. So Elon Musk, Tesla, they lead one of the most, I'd say one of the most forward thinking companies in the world, energy based. It, it's really an energy company in my mind, a technology company that innovates through cars. So that is really where they're driving a lot of their growth from is the car segment. But let's not forget they have energy storage. They have solar panels. They're going to have insurance. They're like a little ETF, like a little conglomerate of different companies. Uh, and they have battery technologies too. So let's look at what they do for a second here in their Tesla energy. They develop, build, install, and sell solar energy generation systems, battery energy storage products, as well as other related products and services to residential, commercial, and industrial customers. Hmm. What do you really need a lot of to mine Bitcoin? Energy, right? What is the major push right now for clean Bitcoin mining? Well, there are a couple companies that do that. I know one company that I'm invested in, CLSK, Clean Spark, has 95% carbon-free uh, mining. They, they're upping it to 98%. But a lot of other companies don't have that. CleanSpark has talked about working with some of these companies. Uh, I don't know how many large contracts they actually have for that side of their business. But it's a very highly profitable business right now. Bitcoin mining is very profitable. Like it only takes, 
six to eight thousand dollars per Bitcoin to be profitable. So you start thinking, okay, the majority of the cost is coming from, first of all, just the mining rigs at first, and then from energy, just the, the ongoing energy. Well, if you had a large amount of solar energy and you could help companies transition to solar energy, and maybe you lead that by, by making it impossible because it's such an awful thing, bring it mainstream, making it so awful to mine with coal. That's kind of interesting. You throw yourself into the mix where maybe companies have to start working with you. Maybe they want to reduce carbon emissions. They have to hit certain guidelines because otherwise they're pretty much blacklisted or people won't pay as much for Bitcoin that's mined from some of these facilities. I've heard Kevin O'Leary say that. He said that maybe a month or two ago and I covered on the channel that certain certain uh, people and certain companies aren't willing to buy cryptocurrency out of China because they know that it's like it's like a blood diamond, but it's like a blood Bitcoin. So he was talking about how he's investing in only crypto miners that are green energy. That's that's really interesting. So let's say Tesla starts working with some of these customers. Well, uh, there are some there are some articles about how solar powered cryptocurrency may be the next big thing. This was back in 2019, several years ago. We've seen them actually. Well, we've seen some really interesting things from Elon in the past. He had agreed with Twitter boss Jack Dorsey, who has the who has said that Bitcoin incentivizes renewable energy, despite experts warning otherwise. The cryptocurrency's carbon footprint is as large as some of the world's biggest cities. Uh, studies suggest one expert said that it's a clinical attempt to greenwash Bitcoin. Uh, they say that the change if or he claims that could change if bitcoin miners worked hand in hand with renewable energy firms well i mean right off the bat right right off the bat we know that tesla could become one of the largest players in that space do you think they've just been sitting in the side on the sidelines for the last year while they're looking at all these cryptocurrency miners i bet you there are a couple People there that are working on something in regards to this, they say China accounts for more than two thirds of the power, uh, where more than two thirds of the power is from coal, accounts for more than 75% of Bitcoin mining around the world. So how interesting would it be if Elon did this whole thing, right? He, he bought Bitcoin knowing that it's a good inflation hedge. It already had a lot of momentum. And then he started accepting it as payment, decided, hey, maybe... Maybe we will accept it as payment. We'll know that not too many people will buy it, buy our Teslas with Bitcoin. Uh, that will be kind of a publicity thing. We'll we'll bring people in. We'll talk about crypto a lot, and then we will say that it's just not energy efficient enough. Like it, it's too bad for the environment. But we would love to. We would love to work with crypto in the future. It's just we need something that's a little bit more energy efficient. And maybe they go over to some other cryptocurrency. This is again, this is not substantiated by anything, but it makes sense in my head. I want to know if you guys think it makes sense in the comments. So they start saying, "Well, we'll, we'll look at other cryptocurrencies. Maybe they do. Maybe they work with Cardano." I did a video earlier today how Cardano was pumping because it is significantly more energy efficient than ethereum and bitcoin at the moment but let's say they say hey we'll work with some of these bitcoin miners it's a very profitable business but you have to become more energy efficient we'll sell software or maybe they start doing it themselves i don't know that's that's something that could happen down the line maybe they somehow sell it in like their solar packages right maybe you get a bitcoin miner and a solar panel and you can start mining bitcoin at home i mean I, I don't even know where the possibilities end with this because they already have solar roofs. I don't know how much energy it would take or people would be interested in that. Or maybe that's just some extra application that they can put on top of that. Maybe like every month you pay a fee. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the best person, uh, the most in the know person with Tesla in general. I'm not a Tesla diehard, but it is a really interesting thing to think about. I mean, Tesla is always branching out into new things. I mean, they're going to get into autonomous driving. They, the owner, Elon Musk, or really the CEO, but he's pretty much an owner too because of how much he owns of the company, owns the Boring Company. He owns, he owns several companies 
that are in the tech space, why wouldn't he get into Bitcoin mining, especially if he could revolutionize it, especially if he's thinking, okay, this really is going to be the next gold. It's going to go up to half a million to a million dollars. We could mine a lot of Bitcoin in the meantime and explode our profitability over the coming years. I mean, if they were able to start mining a couple hundred million a quarter, that would be huge. I mean, some some miners are becoming massively profitable and they keep on reinvesting in, in themselves so they're not showing as much profitability because it seems like every miner I see is just buying more and more mining rigs and they are just not, they're not fully trying to become profitable at this point. They're trying to reinvest so much in the business because they believe in it. So think about that for a minute. Think about how much how much of an impact they could have on this. And they have one of the largest platforms. Elon Musk definitely knew what this was when they started accepting Bitcoin. Don't let him sit there and say, hey, we just realized that this is going to be a problem or, hey, the the potential backlash is too much. I mean, they they knew, right? It's not like they thought that uh, as an energy company, they could just walk in the space and no one would give them a hard time. I mean, sure, some of these... Concerns have be, become more mainstream over the last month or two, but I don't see, I didn't see anyone saying that they weren't going to buy Tesla because they're accepting Bitcoin. I've seen a lot of people doing the opposite, which is after they stopped accepting Bitcoin, people canceled their orders, which is really interesting. But let me know your thoughts on this down below. Am I too much of a conspiracy theorist? Is this crazy or is this likely to happen? I, I really want to hear back from you guys and see what you guys think. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for hitting subscribe and watching the full video. That means a lot. If you guys want to show me that you're actually still here, put, uh, I don't know, Elon to the moon or something like that. Let's go with Elon, Elon to the moon. So put that in the comment uh, even after you say everything else. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for checking out Webull down below. Bye.